Hey everybody, Digital Unity here, and welcome back to the Botto Daily Challenge. I, deja vu is the word of the day. I think I've been in this place before. Higher on the beat, and I know it's my time to go. Uh, we got Scrapper's Run, we got Arc Bumpy Roos. Uh, again, this, to the, uh, to the astute viewer, is episode two. Again. Back again! Ah! So, Archon Scrappers, what do we remember from last time? We remember that the uh, time we got before was a 206. We remember that this is fast terrain, but we also remember that because Ark has a weirdly cracked cooling stat, we don't really get to use it very well. We remember that we really don't want to underheat, and we remember that a lot of these textures actually don't look the way that they're supposed to, but that's for a different thing. That's a different discussion. That's something LP would know a lot more about because he's been trying to fix it with model block and texture block and all kinds of things like that. We want no bonks, no major bonks. We want uh, good lines, we want good heat. And that's all that we really need to try and beat our 206 time that we have right now. I don't think it's gonna go down without a fight. I will be completely honest about that. Oh! Well, that's okay. What fun would it have been if I got the time on the first try, huh? I did some practice last night, and I know I can beat my time, but I beat it by such a slim margin. Of course, it was also like 5 in the morning. Okay, and... Lap 1. Cooling off a little bit in this too, but not too much, because again, Ark has a very strangely good cooling stat. Wow! Okay, well, that, there goes this one. This, this run is no longer in the running. It's incapable now. That was really, like, totally jank. I do want to get at least one complete run in today, though, because, I mean, if I can't beat my time on camera, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Yep, we lost two seconds to those bonds. That just goes to show you how incredibly fragile a good time is. I think I accidentally did a skip. Now, Ark's acceleration stat is the best in the game, um, tied with Niviki for that spot. It's not exactly a good stat to have, but with regards to losing speed and bonking, uh, you know, Ark is basically never punished. Also makes him one of, like, two racers where you can actually use the brake button without being too worried about what it's gonna do to your time overall. That line was very wide. Uh-oh. I don't think this one's gonna beat it. I don't think this is gonna beat our time here. But we all gotta push the envelope sometime. 206.28, but our time right now is a 206.133. Ah, oh, so close. Oh! I didn't think I touched the wall that bad. So the one-tenth of one percent of one rumor about the upcoming Star Wars Racer remake, remaster, re-release, what we know about that so far is that it theoretically might exist and has a quarter four release. Based on the name of the throwaway account, we can deduce that it would be released in October. Or at least that it's targeting an October release or announcement trailer release. I'm probably one of like maybe two people reporting on this because it uh, doesn't matter to anybody else. Nobody else really, no one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's a jungle out there. Poison in the very air we breathe. You know what's in the water that you drink? Well, I do. And it's amazing. People think I'm crazy because I worry all the time. If you paid attention, you'd be worried too. Oh! I was too focused on remembering the lyrics to the monk theme. I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, if that turns out to be real, I'm excited for it. If it turns out to be fake, how dare you? No idea how I survived that, but I'll take it. What I hope right now is that they base it off the N64 version of the game for like uh, textures and stuff like that. Because the N64 version of this game actually works better. Like the uh, 
The textures on the N64 version of the game are actually are actually like properly functional. The nose up is better on the N64 version of the game, and the N64 version of the game is locked at 24 FPS, so the physics are accurate. Or the physics are, are the uh, the intended physics. They're the ones that you're gonna want to go for. So to whatever company is tasked with making this uh, this remake, if you exist and if it is in fact in development right now. First off, huge fan. Second, uh, to please do your research and your homework and make sure that you make this the right way around because this game is very wonky and if you're going off the PC version looking at the textures for that, you're gonna end up with a lot of trouble. Yeah, this one's not gonna be it, Chief. I don't think this is gonna be it because we bonked pretty bad. Interesting that this is Bato's first repeat challenge. Couldn't have been one of the ones that I missed or that I wasn't here for. It, it had to be... Had to be the second one I ever played, huh? Absolutely did that boost strong, so that's gonna cost me quite a bit of time. And that 206 is actually, like, pretty solid, as it, as it turns out, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat that. Oh, especially if I go wide like that! Holy moly! At this point, I would need an absolutely cracked final lap. That's not cracked! That's worse. That's worse than the first attempt we made. I didn't hit nose up at all, but thank you, game, for that. Throw this around in the dumpster. I... yeah. I did hit the button. It's... I hit it by mistake. I tried to adjust my grip on my controller and I accidentally, like, brushed the paddle. You gotta be real careful in there. Realistically speaking, right now, all any of us can do about the upcoming potential racer port or uh, remake or whatever it's going to be uh, is hope. All we can do is hope. And wait. Hope. Oh, yeah, I already did hope. Wait. I think I got that joke backwards. Um, it's a fun episode of Phineas and Ferb that that comes from, I know that much. But like, what episode of Phineas and Ferb isn't fun? I think it started with all we can do is wait, and hope, and wait. I already did wait, Carl. Did we do hope? shutting down. It's a little warm in here. Not too hot, though. <laughs> 20588! That is a solid PB on this challenge. I'll take that all the way to the bank. 205.877. Absolutely that's a PB. I'm not sure how much better I can do on that, but this is a good, uh, well, I guess you could say it's a good display of our character arc. Aha! I'll be here all week. You race a pretty good, no doubts there, huh? <laughs> That's gonna do it for today's Botto Daily Challenge. A little familiar, but it's always nice to go back to your roots.
If you like challenges like this and want to try them out for yourself, come on down to the Star Wars Episode 1 Racer Discord. There's a link to join in the description below, and we get a new challenge every single day in the Bottos Junkyard channel. And I make a video on it every day, so if you don't want to miss a beat, you can always subscribe. And once again, I gotta remind y'all that it's tourney season, baby, and it has begun. Our next coming qualifier match is this Sunday, 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 at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, featuring Nock, Hellfire, Droopy, and Go and Lilac Dryad. You won't want to miss it because these are all great runners. That'll be on one of the Speed Gaming channels and I'll let you know just as soon as I know which one it's on. Until next time, I've been Digital Unity and this has been, um, strangely familiar. <laughs>